Hey guys, Tony the Soul Assassin Assassin. You can see a little different background today because uh, usually when I smoke this, I try to do something and uh, I just cut out the part where I was doing something else. And that's that's all the cut that it is because it takes time to smoke and talk to myself and do everything else. So uh, today I have some office work to do, basically reading a lot of stuff. So I decided that I would do it in front of my computer so I don't have to do it, uh, you know, walking back and forth between the studios and the computer. And today what... I'm smoking is the Filthy Hoodigan from, uh, I think it's Alec Bradley Black Market. I did the Shamrock before, which is had the tr three color, yellow and brown and green. And this time it's just the, the uh, um, Candela wrapper and the Nicaraguan wrapper on the outside, so it's only two colors. Um, yeah, and I will smoke it and let you guys know how I feel about this. And pairing is... Uh, uh, one of our good brothers sent me some coffee. This is called Cafe Kuzalapa. Kuzalapa? I can't, I can't pronounce it, but I print it out because this is supposed to be sent to someone, but like, you know, they can't send coffee, so I had to figure out uh, something else later. But that's the coffee today. So I also give a little bit of um, what I think about this coffee in this video. All right, so let's get started. Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my way Every single day I'm gonna make Okay, so now let's uh, open this wrapper and uh, and give it a try Very light, leafy, little bit of cocoa smell. Just like cocoa powder smell. So, actually not bad. I mean, this is the, it, the reason that I had to do it in front of my computer is because this candela, like usually when you smell candela, you have to take your time, really slow down to do it. So this is exactly what I'm doing here. I had to take my time, slow down and do it, and uh, you know, just slowly smoke through this thing. Slowly, slowly, all right? So yeah, let me get a cut. Let's get a first impression on it. Mm. I gotta do a straight cut because the, the draw is actually kinda tight on this one. Draw is kinda tight on this one. So I'm gonna cut it a little just, just a little bit more so that I can get more surface. Yeah, that's enough. All right, let's toast it up and let's start it. Trusty toasty lighter, let's go. So yeah, like Bob always say, how are you guys today? How are you guys every day? Uh, you know, I, I figure I pile some you know pre-recorded videos, uh, edit them when I have time to kind of entertain you guys when I travel, because you know my traveling times are coming up and I'll be on less and less, and I don't want to get you guys in. You know, Not, not that you don't have enough videos to see, you know, there's always Bob the Cigar Guy, Matia Maya, you know, and all that. So, you know, I just wanted to have something on the side, you know, have something on the side, just in case. That way I don't feel like I'm slacking, you know. <laughs> Alright, it's very leafy. It's very leafy. get the, 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 the characteristic of the Nicaraguan uh, leaf, the, 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 the wrapper leaf a lot right away. The, a little bit of the cooling leafy taste from the candela uh, in the very beginning. And I know the fill up binder uh, Sumatra and Honduras and Panama. So, um, you know, it's got like a darker, heavier taste to it. Yeah. Woodsy. A little bit of... Um, mm, I w spicy, I think. A little spicy. I, I don't know, like, if you, it's like a cooling spicy. It's not like tingly spicy. So... We'll see, we'll see. Let me walk through the first 
a little bit and then we'll get back to you after I smoke the first little bit and have some coffee. Okay, so I only did a little bit through because this uh, cigar is while appearing with coffee, I figured that I want to add some notes in here before I forget. You know, I, I don't want to forget, obviously. So uh, as I smoke it, you get this, obviously, the candela little bitterness that comes through. And then you get a little bit of coffee and a little bit of cocoa uh, and a lot of cedar coverage in there. Uh, that kind of mixture of going. Uh, uh, if you smoke slow enough, it's actually a very pleasant uh, mixture of flavors. But if you smoke too fast, that bitterness goes through, then you start to go, oh, that's a little bit too much. So like, I actually slow down uh, how much I'm smoking just so that the, the flavor was stay that consistent sweet spot. And, and I've been just smoking you know, one puff every minute or so, uh, you know, the standard speed, and then pair with this uh, coffee. Uh, what I realized is that the coffee, this particular coffee is uh, Arabiaca beans, I believe. Uh, a special, 100% as Arabiaca as special. Now I can taste it; it's somewhat of a medium roast, uh, but the, the flavor, because the Arabiaca has that acidity to it, that almost tastes like an espresso brew. So it's it's there. I mean, and, and, it's really really good but it's got the subtle little tiny bit of that uh, roast bitterness to it that actually uh, worked very well with this so once I take a puff I blow the, uh, the, the draw out I take a sip that sip actually worked with the coffee flavor that's in here the coffee notes and then washed away that bitterness right away so I mean if you can take Candela's bitterness, but you would like that little leafy taste to it. This will be good, but you gotta make sure that you have a coffee right next to it to kind of balance it out so that uh, it washes off that taste for you. Almost like a chaser. Alright, so yeah, I'll continue. Okay, we're well, one third of the way through. The taste didn't change much. The taste didn't change much. Um, the burn is not bad. But because the draw is slightly tight, it's not giving me the, the amount of smoke that I'm kind of come to expect for this particular cigar. Uh, in terms of the, the, the flavor, it's not as intricate as the what I would call, I mean, with a shamrock, uh, but it's there. So if you like, if you like Candela cigar and you like Nicaraguan cigars, it's not a bad combination. It's not a bad, bad combination. I think I like the Shamra a little bit better because there's more to go on. This is just a medium strain cigar uh, that has the you know, mixture of the Candela and the Nicaraguan. But here's the thing. I like to smoke like Nicaraguan cigar faster because you get more of the charred, uh, dark roasted coffee, cocoa in there. But Candela, you had to smoke slower because if it's too fast, you get the bitterness. So you kind of get the the you know the completely op polar opposite in this particular cigar. So it's hard to find that happy medium. Uh, it's one of those things, I guess. As you smoke this more, you have to learn to find that happy medium. But so far, not much changed. Same thing. Uh, coffee. Uh, a little bit leafy, uh, like um, cooling, uh, just a little bit pepper in there too, just a little bit spicy spice in there. Um, and in terms of the the uh, the green tea flavor that's usually in a candela, it's not in here because I think it's because it's got covered up by the the coffee flavor in here. So it's not bad of a cigar if you're just doing it, and you know while you're working on something, while you're you know reading or whatever, where you had to pick it up. Down, up and down a few more times. You, 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 we have sufficient time to smoke this. I smoked this one third. It took half an hour. <laughs> it took half an hour because any faster, I taste bitterness. Uh, any slower, it goes out. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a very finicky cigar. But so far, I wouldn't call this a bad cigar. I would say this is a special kind. It takes a it takes a special kind of people to like this cigar. So we'll continue and see. Uh, 
you know, the the second third towards uh, near the second half uh, tastes like. And then I'll let you guys know. But the coffee, the coffee is good. The coffee is good. I have a little bit of milk in there because, you know, uh, usually it's the afternoon. I put a little bit of milk in there. If, if it's morning, I drink it dark. But then, you know, to in consideration that I might take a rest a little, little later, I do need some milk to kind of calm that down a little bit. So, yeah, uh, they pair well. They pair well. I don't know how this will pair uh, well, uh, in with the, with the bourbons and stuff like that. But with the coffee, not too bad. All right. Okay, so that literally took 50 minutes to get to this point, all right? 50 minutes to get to this point. And um, I can tell you that there's not that much change. Uh, other than the fact that as I get to it, I start to kind of get that sweet spot. So I get more of that leafy uh, note to it. A little bit of cooling sensation, a little bit more of uh, um, the, the leafy green tea, uh, just a tad of the raw leaf taste to it. Um, it is still enjoyable, very enjoyable. I did try to take the uh, the, the the band off, and then kind of the band kind of gets stick onto that leaf a little bit, so it kind of ripped up a little bit. But overall, it's an enjoyable stick. You, but then you have to like Candela. If you don't like Candela, this is not a stick for you. All right, if you don't like Candela at all, don't even try this one because uh, there is quite a bit of the presence of that Candela flavor. And especially as you get to, towards the end, you start to get used to the tobacco, the, the Nicaraguan uh, leafy uh, uh, woodsy notes and the coffee notes. And then you start to notice that Candela note more. And now you start to, now if you don't like Candela, that's all you're gonna get. So, uh, good cigar. Uh, a really cool box if you ever have a box of this like the box is like a crate so it looks super cool so yeah definitely worth the collection if you like um, candela cigars uh, if you don't this is definitely not for you okay so yeah i think this is pretty much it for this thing it's not gonna change a lot it didn't change much at all um, other than the string go up and down and the, and the flavor note go in and out there's no new notes or anything that came out with it very consistent uh, in terms of what note you gotta be picking up from this particular cigar. So yeah, uh, I think this is as much information I can give you on this particular cigar. Do I like it? Yeah, I do like it. I do like it, but I do smoke uh, Candela cigar from, from time to time. Candela cigar is not everyday cigar. You wouldn't want to smoke that every day because that just takes so much time. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, you know, it takes some finesse to go with it. So. Yeah, um, I can't give you too much information about, about this cigar because it's just like a, if you like it, you enjoy a kind of cigar, and I can tell you that there's gotta be more people that don't like this cigar than people that like this cigar. For me, I like it. Uh, it's a, like, out of this world, probably not, but then if you want, you know, uh, if you like Candela, you probably go with the Roma Crop, like Silent 13, you know, uh, maybe even uh, Camacho uh, Candela cigar. So sometimes you want both worlds together, you get one of these, but it's not something that you will smoke regularly. I don't think anybody will smoke this cigar regularly, uh, especially how rare it is. Uh, I don't think you can buy them anymore, they're all gone. So if you have this cigar, enjoy it, and I liked it. It goes really good with the with the nice uh, medium roasted coffee. I don't know if it would go good with the dark uh, dark roast because if you don't know, dark roasts are usually cheaper uh, coffee that you know they roast it to burn so that um, you can there's less to pick up on. It's the uh, you don't you don't really go like you know this is a great coffee bean we're gonna burn it to hell you know <laughs> when you have a dark roast uh, usually it's a cheaper uh grading of cigar i mean not cigar, uh, coffee notes coffee coffee beans so uh goes well with the medium roast um, i enjoyed it totally got me through the time where i had to work on some stuff uh got some stuff down and i still have a little bit to go so i'm gonna continue to work on that but the cigar for here uh, it's just that I, I, there's not much to talk about, okay? So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you uh, kind of get some idea what this cigar is about. If it's up to me, I will still choose the Shamrock over uh, this barber pole because Shamrock has a little bit of complexity in it compared to this one. This one is not much complexity. Uh, 
it's just stand it's just the same notes strong or light strong or light over 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 again okay so you know i'll see you guys in the next video um if you want to see some other particular cigar for reviews that i don't do on the live shows you can do that we have live shows wednesday and saturdays shadow smokes legions uh we also have members who does much much better uh reviews Martin Amaya, who who does pretty good reviews and uh most likely a lot of cigars that you will smoke uh and then we have bob the cigar guy um I always have drew's day uh, which is uh Jewish days cigar reviews and stuff like that really fun guys to watch so make sure to watch those too search for uh, my team my cigar review and bob the cigar guy cigar review if you'd like to join shadow smokes legion find the member they can invite you in okay have a good one i'll see you guys next time on the next review and be saucy see you guys next time bye